G'day, John for the hot end. Just recently we reviewed a couple of laser engravers, the Otua uh, Laser Master, uh, Laser Master 2 in fact, and the Otua Laser Master 2 Pro. Links in the description. But now we have the Otua Orfero, A-U-F-E-R-O CNC machine, which is sort of based on the laser ones, but now it's a full CNC. Now, when it comes to CNC, um, I know nothing. nothing. Yep, what he said. So the software I used to get this thing going was Desk Proto, um, Image to Litho, which is a, a website one, uh, noted as 3DP, 3dp.rocks, and Easel. All of these were the free versions because I can't afford to pay for the pro ones because they get a bit expensive. Right, once we got that all sorted out, I needed to think about what bits I needed to do some actual carving. The only ones I had were spiral upcut bits, which is these ones, but uh, I found later that I needed these ones, the V-carve bits, but I don't have those yet. I've ordered them, so we'll see what happens. So I thought I'd jump right into it and starting at the hard stuff, I had a picture, a bird photo that I took that I manipulated a bit to make it uh, more black and white. I then uh, put that JPEG into image to lithophane, converted it to a lithophane STL, then went into desk proto and that accepts STLs, so I was able to set it up in Desk Proto to get the G code and then import the G code into Easel and try carving it. This is what I got. Yeah, okay. It, it's not perfect. It's, it's pretty horrible, in fact. But anyway, why not start at the top end, eh? Anyway, then I thought I'd try a JPEG of me. And again, this didn't turn out all that nicely. So, so then I thought, okay, my, my Converting of, of JPEGs is not real flash. So I went into Thingiverse, I think it was Thingiverse, and downloaded an STL straight from Thingiverse. And again, went through Desk Proto to create the G-code into Easel and got this. Now this didn't turn out too bad, really. Uh, I was quite happy with this one. So yeah, it, it was really good. So I thought, okay, Easel seems to be the way to go. So I went into Easel and used some of its uh, preset files that you can use. Uh, it has some, some stuff that you can use, pictures and, and what have you, all part of the software. And you can also do text with different fonts. So I made this. Yeah, it's, it came out fairly well. Uh, it's actually carved into some really hard old 
hardwood fence palings that I dressed up on the planer and sanded and made look pretty. And then uh, after the carving was finished, I painted it by spraying it with, with um, spray paint, then sanding off the excess and coating it with a clear lacquer. And this is what I got. So yeah, this little CNC machine, although it's quite small, it's, it's really good to learn on. I learned a lot. It took me weeks to really nut out how to do all this stuff. So I'm looking forward to getting the v carve bits and then I'll have another bash at it and uh, we'll see what we can come up with those. But all in all, yeah, it's a, it's a great little thing, great to play with. A good partner to the Laser Master 2s and you'll see more of it in coming videos. Alrighty, that's all I've got for you for today. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.